Our 2015 Computex coverage is brought to you by Fantex, NVIDIA, Corsair, NCIX, Silverstone, and InWin. Make sure to support them for helping us bring this great content to you. During Computex, when we stopped by the Intel benchmarking suite, they showed us this, the new Asus Zenfone 2. It's got a quad-core Intel Atom inside, but they wanted to show off this slightly modified version, the world's first 65-core smartphone. They've clearly figured out how to install a 61-core Xeon chip on the back of the device that consumes zero power, so it's incredibly efficient, and you get a medal for the bragging rights of having 65 cores in one hand. So the message that Intel is trying to send is clear. You've got four cores on the Zenfone 2 for performance and 61 cores for marketing. We all had a laugh, obviously now that Intel atoms are finding their way into consumer devices and start to compete with Qualcomm chips, they wanted to emphasize that 99% of apps in the Play Store do not utilize the fourth core 95% of the time, and the specific benchmarking apps do not actually reflect on real-world usage. Now, what I took away from this is obviously Intel has its own agenda to acquire a larger market share, but even still, remember that it's not all about the course, especially since the apps are not even designed to fully take advantage of all of them. And another message they wanted us to take away is reminding builders and PC users that system balance is crucial. While having a fast GPU matters a ton for gaming, other pieces of the puzzle should not be ignored. And obviously Intel should not worry in the sphere of CPUs, but they have been in the storage game for some time and reminding users that having a fast SSD will improve gaming performance. And they demonstrated that with loading Assassin's Creed Unity, where that insane 750 series SSD was loading all the textures, all the crowds, all the building assets with over 40 gigabytes in total without anything popping off screen. And having two 1.2 terabytes SSDs for gaming of the 750 series is absolutely overkill, but they wanted to make the statement that system balance is important. And it's clear that Intel is prepping the crowd to realize that core count is less important, and with the launch of 10 new 5th gen CPUs at Computex, they are proud of their quad-core 8-threaded chips and the performance that they deliver.